Let's check in with Astrid Brashman now. Of course, uh, Astrid, all of us at CTV uh, mm -hmm. take our responsibility in the community seriously. You were busy on Saturday night with one of my uh, favorite events and one of my favorite causes, the Victoria Hospitals Foundation and the annual uh, Visions Gala. It was fantastic. We were at the Fairmont Empress and uh, really pleased to say that we raised $458,000 on Saturday night. All the money goes to uh, purchasing these medicine cabinets, these automated medicine cabinets. I don't even know if I'm describing this properly, but it really helps the caregivers uh, care for patients in the best way possible possible with the medication dispensing and making sure that it's the right dosage for the right patients. So a lot of money raised. It was a beautiful event, uh, again, at the Fairmont Empress. Uh, so thank you to everyone who worked so hard to put on the event. It takes so much to put on a gala uh, and to get everyone in without them being soaked because it was pouring rain on Saturday night, too. Uh, we certainly saw a good stormy weekend. A little bit of sunshine on Sunday, more rain overnight tonight on the way for the island, and uh, we're hoping to see a little bit of that taper off, but it's going to be a little while yet. Heading up to 10 degrees for the Victoria area tomorrow that is a little bit milder than normal. I want to show you just how much rain fell in uh, some communities with your live school net weather sensors. 29.72 millimeters out towards Camosun College at the Lansdowne campus there. So a lot of rain there since midnight. Out to Elizabeth Buckley School, nearly 31 millimeters. Of course, most of the rain came along the west coast of the island, but we certainly had our share through many other other communities. Here's your satellite picture and you can see how big the low was in the cold front associated with the storm that pushed through in the last 24 hours. Plenty of rain right through the south coast, even through Washington state and uh, a lot of that also into the lower mainland areas. For tonight, we do expect to see some of the rain taper off, but still fairly stormy, looking at a risk of thunderstorms tonight through Port Hardy. Showers and periods of rain off and on Campbell River, Courtney Comox through the Nanaimo area with lows down to four degrees. Looking at windy conditions overnight through Tofino, six degrees for you. Periods of rain through Port Alberni and for the South Island. We're not going to escape the gusts of wind overnight just yet. It does start to taper, taper off as we get into tomorrow afternoon. But do keep the rain gear with you. You will need it. We're looking at a bit of a blustery day. Those strongest winds are coming in the morning hours. Southeasterly winds gusting to 70 kilometers an hour through many communities. Nine degrees tomorrow through Duncan, six to Crofton and Chimanas. If you're in the Nanaimo area, you'll feel those southeasterlies early in the morning, easing off as the day goes on and as you approach your high of eight degrees. To the west coast, you're going to see the majority of the rain tomorrow up around Tofino, Euclid, 30 millimeters for you, 10 to 15 through Port Alberni, but not quite as well windy in the valley. Courtney Comox, Campbell River, you're going to see wind and rain tomorrow. Mount Washington already has 86 centimeters of snow. Fantastic news for the mountain. Getting ready for that early opening. Tomorrow still unsettled, quite stormy up near Port Hardy with that risk of thunderstorms and showers on the way. The rest of BC for tomorrow. All this moisture pushing through means really bad driving conditions through mountain passes. Coquihalla today really ugly. It will be through tomorrow as well. Over the next seven days, here's what you can expect. Greater Victoria temperatures start to uh, uh, hold at around 10 degrees for the next week. And then maybe next Monday we'll get some sunshine. Wouldn't that be nice? Mid-Island, you too could see some sunny breaks coming again next Monday. And then for the north end of the island, next Monday looks to be the brightest of the next seven. Finally tonight, here is your weather watcher. And thank you so much to Jamie for sending this beautiful picture. I love this sky. I can't wait till we see another bright sky like this. If you'd like to be a weather watcher, ctvvancouverisland.ca is our website. Send us your pictures, send us your kids art. We'd love to put them on TV, especially if they've got lots of sunshine. I'm into that right now. <laughs> we'll take pictures of sunshine if that's the closest thing we're going to get to it I for a while. I think it is for right now. All right. Astrid, thank you. You're welcome.